welcome, Stephanie here with the Flower Fanatic. I am so excited today because the weather's warming up a bit. It's gonna be even warmer next week, almost 48 degrees, which is a little bit scary because we need so much water, but it's also super nice to enjoy and be outside in the winter time. Anyways, I have this area along my fence. I created this long flower bed. It goes in a line. Let's take a look at it real quick. As I was out here walking around my flower beds, which I do on a regular basis, even in winter time and nothing's actually going on, I was looking at this end and I'm like, whoa, this is not straight at all. I thought I did a really good job in spring and summer making a straight line, but right here it goes around and then all of a sudden it like curves in right there and then it goes around. So I need to create a straight line that is more balanced, otherwise it's gonna drive me crazy. And I've come up with a little method that I think is gonna work. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do and it's gonna look so much better. All right, I got these nice heavy duty stakes and then I'm just gonna pound them into each end. Kind of where it curves, I'm gonna come out about 102 inches and then do a center 102 inches. And then right here, where before it starts to round out right here, I'm gonna do it on this end at 102 inches and then it should be nice and straight. I'll attach that string over here to each end. This is so much better than what I was gonna do. My sister-in-law came over and actually helped me with this. And it's like, I have some stakes and some yarn. I didn't have any. So I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I was gonna use these little twigs that I had in my yard and just go ahead and like do so many measurements and stick them in the ground like stakes and then spray paint. So this is gonna be much easier. So glad she came over when she did. Okay, let's get them all staked in. Let's get the yarn on and then I'll show you how I'm gonna shovel to make a straight line. All right, I got my string. I'm gonna tie the ends on here, make sure it's nice and tight and straight, and then I will get shoveling. All right, I got this line on here. You can see how crooked I was. That is not lined up right with this. And then it gradually goes to no grass. And then right here, it's where it gets real awesome. It really gets messed up right here. This is so awesome. Okay. And then I'll just kind of have to widen this area just slightly, give it a little bit more rounded edge. My plan here is I'm just gonna get my shovel. I'm hoping the soil is soft enough. We'll take it along that edge right there. And then just get going. Oh, it's pretty hard, the soil, dang it. Okay, plan B. I'm gonna use spray paint. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint along that line. <laughs> All right, I got it all spray painted. It looks nice and straight. I'm just gonna show you. We're gonna walk along the edge. This was such a fun way to use spray paint. It does kind of leak in winter though, because it's so cold. All right, I know that light is a little bit hard to tell. That shade actually is the spray paint. It looks like it's shaded, but it's black. All right, when the soil softens up in a few days, I'll come finish it up and I'll show you the end result. Give me a like and subscribe if you found this video useful. And I'm so grateful to my sister-in-law for giving me this tip and helping me out. Okay, well, see you in All a right, bit. All right, guys, my soil has softened out. I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally have a straight line in this flower bed. I would never recommend doing it the way I did it the past three years. Just do it right the first time, measure it out, and do this method, and you'll just be so much happier. It will be no fail. Okay, my line goes up and down. All I'm gonna do is grab my shovel, Dig it up from the outside edge of the line and do that all the way up and down.
All right, guys, I'm so excited to show you this line. It's been about three years in the making and it is finally straight and it looks so much better. So let's take a look at it real quick. All right, doesn't that just look so, so good? Let's look at up and down. It's nice and straight. Oh, it just is really, really great. Okay, let's walk around here. The chickens are, chickens, do you guys think it looks nice and straight? They were in here earlier. Every time I dig, they come and just go nuts eating all the worms. I think they think it looks pretty good. And then let's take an angle from this shot. So beautiful, so much better. I hope you found this video helpful. Comment down below and give me a subscribe, a thumbs up. And I hope this will help you, help you guys when you're trying to create your own lines in the future. Okay. This is a really fun project to do. It's just incredibly satisfying. Okay, have a good night. Bye.